welcome to Las Vegas. So throughout this trip, we've been staying in somewhat questionable hotels and motels. I never say that's correct. In one of the places, which was at the request of Kat, I think, you, you really wanted to stay in the sleaziest motel that we could find, right? Yeah. Yeah. At that motel, we actually heard a very big argument when we were trying to get to sleep. I, I don't know if it was another guest or a local, but uh, the next morning we woke up and there were police officers and police cars outside the motel, so something went down. But anyway, uh, needless to say, we made a pretty quick getaway from that motel. But now we have traveled from, ah, uh, where was it? Bakersfield. Bakersfield. We did a five or six, why can't I ever remember how long we've been going? I don't know. How long was it? Uh, four and a half. Four, four and a half hour drive from Bakersfield to Las Vegas. What do they call it? Sin City, is that right? But anyway, we, de we decided that we deserved a spot of luxury. First of all, it's halfway through the trip and we've been staying in average places up until now, trying to save a little bit of money. Also, tomorrow is Kat's birthday. So we thought it'd be nice if she would wake up on her 30th birthday in a, in a little bit of luxury because, you know, the crisis that comes with turning 30 years old. You know all about that. I do know all about that, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I wish I was waking up in a five-star hotel on my 30th. But you woke up in Finland on your 30th. Mm. What's better than that? A five-star country, I guess you could call it. So the hotel we are in is the Venetian, and yes, like I say, it's a five-star hotel, probably one of one ho five star hotels I've ever stayed in. I'd, I actually don't think I've ever stayed in a five star hotel. Oh, really? So, as you can see, it's a pretty nice room. We've got a suite and it actually only cost 30 euros more than the shithole we stayed in in Bakersfield, which was like, no, you're even less. Definitely worth it, I would, I would say. But anyway, we are in Vegas, so I don't think you stay much in your room whilst you're in Vegas, so. I think it's time to explore a little bit, do some gambling, eat some food, and uh, see what mischief we can get up to. So we've had some fun in Vegas and uh, we did some gambling as well as you guys saw and <laughs> well let's just put it this way I got $200 out and I'm coming home with zero. I lost all I lost all my money. But you know what's okay I said when we came here I'm gonna take $200 out if I lose it I lose it if we win something then great. So I knew that I was okay with losing $200, no problem. <laughs> I was very tempted to get some more out and be like, no, no, just, just one more spin on this, just one more spin on this fruit machine and we're, we're in the money. But it was fun, it was so much fun and Kat and I got to spin the machines together and yeah, it was just $200 well spent. I have to say, it was, it was a lot, a lot of fun. And you know what? I have to say something about Vegas because I hate big cities, busy, big cities and Las Vegas is probably one of the biggest and busiest that you can find and I've got to say something that I didn't find Vegas as intimidating as I thought it would be. Yes it's super busy but I don't know I never really felt unsafe at any point especially in the casino it's like there's security everywhere in fact just now I got told to put my little GoPro away because <laughs> Apparently you're not allowed to film in the casinos. Are you videotaping or, or what are you doing? Just videoing, yeah. You can't videotape. But anyway, yes, had a lot of fun here in Vegas, but now it is time to hit the road once again and we've got a long, long drive. But you know what, actually, it's the drive isn't so bad. We've been listening to podcasts and all kinds of stuff on the on the road and the time just seems to fly by. The road coming into Vegas though, which is the I-15 I think it is, um, that is a very, 
very long straight road and oh my god it's much harder when it's long and straight rather than twisty and turny like route one for example i don't know what the next road has in store for us but we've we've, we've stocked up on podcasts and and stuff like that so we're set for entertainment but first stop on this route is hoover dam after that grand canyon baby let's go Speak with clarity. So we're now over in a little town called Williams where we'll be staying for the next couple of days. But I just realized maybe I haven't made perfectly clear why we are here, like specifically. So as long as I have known Kat, I have known that it has been her biggest dream to see the Grand Canyon. Like when we first met, I think her computer screensaver was the Grand Canyon. Every time there were talks about tripping, going on a trip somewhere, it was like, mm, maybe Grand Canyon. So this is why it's such a big deal for for cat especially and it's really nice for me as well of course to, to be able to see a grand cat the, the grand canyon not a grand canyon <laughs> now although this is our honeymoon i'm fairly sure this is going to be the best day of cat's life Fo closely followed by our wedding day no i think so <laughs> wedding day is um, the best day of my life mm -hmm. we will find out in about an hour when we okay, if we can get there I gotta finish my lunch. Thank you very much. Just do the vehicle pass for you. Alright, we're in. I've heard a story, I've heard it said, I've come to believe that love is a bet. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose it, sometimes it calls you right in the move. Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head. Bringing me fire, bringing me water, taking me high, taking me I've been looking at this view for the past like I don't know half an hour but this is something that just never gets old so like I say we've actually been here at the at the south rim of the Grand Canyon for about half an hour just kind of enjoying the view and cat I think it made her birthday at least today's her birthday I don't know if I mentioned that but probably made her year, made her life. So I, it was really touching to see how, how, uh, how much this meant to Kat. And I've been saying that this is a once in a lifetime thing, once in a lifetime opportunity, but I think we're gonna have to come here again. In the car, Kat was just saying, I can't believe that this is gonna be over. I was like, just enjoy, enjoy now. And she was like, no, it's gonna be over soon. So I think we'll be coming back. There was so much I was gonna say during this part of the video, but now it's all kind of just gone. It's gone out of my head now. So I think instead I'm just gonna say goodbye so that I can, I can enjoy this and I'll catch up with you in the next one because the trip isn't over. In fact, we're only halfway through. I'm gonna leave you guys with a few shots of the Grand Canyon and uh, I can thoroughly, 110% recommend, if you haven't seen the Grand Canyon in person, that you, you come and do it because you can see as many pictures you want and as many desktop screen savers and backgrounds, but nothing compares to the real thing. It's just insane. All right, take care guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you.